About a year ago, I played a game called Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. I don't really remember what the first one's about, except going to a store to get milk and a bunch of weird stuff happening. But there was a lot of reading. Oh, and before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe, as each subscription gets me closer to making money to afford to be able to learn how to read games like this. Game contains flashing images and touches on heavy topics. Take care. So if I remember correctly, it was kind of like a choose your own story uh, through text sort of game. 45, 46, 47. Oh yeah, and we had uh, uh, very much had ADHD and obsessive compulsive disorder as far as like counting steps and making sure we didn't step on things. Stores closing soon. So I remember a little bit about it. What was that? I missed that. I don't know what that said. Why are so many people in this store? Okay. Is this a slight... Hello, can I... Okay, so this is a slight recap of the first one, I believe. Or it's happening all over again. I don't. I don't know. take much time. What won't take much time? What do you see? Sorry. Uh, 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 what? Huh? I gotta pay attention. Okay. We got riffage. I'm in. Oh, do, oh, did you say, do I actually move the character in this one? No. Okay. My fingernails the same color. Oh, I guess they are kind of the same color. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. Let's do it. Hey. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Okay. Should I be doing something? Oh, okay, click. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, the ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. So how old am I in this game? It's a weird hallway. I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. Why would that be your first thought? Ah ha ha. That's so silly. Yeah, silly. That's not the word I would use. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchens. I know for sure we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure of that. Never say never. She never said never. I break into a run and dash towards the closed door. The shadow intensifies their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I get none of this. I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers. But then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door down. That seems kind of unnecessary in your own house to just be Kool-Aid manning around. But sure. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if I... What if it actually revives them? Huh? No, no, no. I don't want that. 
What do I do? You, so you don't want to revive. I'm just going to, I'm going to follow along. I'm going to, I'm going to try and follow along. I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Hey. As I expected, there was no living corpses inside, but there was a bag of milk I bought today. Sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes, I stare back. Nothing happens. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf, in a store, or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world into a scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. You're talking to milk. You're talking to a bag of milk. Stop talking to a bag of milk. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk toward my room through a narrow court. Isn't that what we just did? Pretty sure that's what we did. Don't like your face. I meet a familiar formless creature at the door. It locks it locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. Hmm, the sniffing. I don't like the sniffing. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. Can we can we get rid of the sniffing? I don't like the sniffing. I mean, I don't like your face either, but... After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp, like a blade. Again? What do you mean, again? I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. Don't tell me what to do. The creature squeezes my hands until my veins start bulging, and I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all the pain. I've promised so many times. Promised what? Stay put. No, 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 get that out of here. The moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin in the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then, the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. A white veal appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time, but... Why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell, while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, f milky foam. We've all been there, right? Right? The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Kill me. Hysterical screams resound through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to imprint them. I try to imprint? Where every drop fell? Oh. Oh. Oh, I try to imprint where every drop fell in my memory so I could gather them all later. I need to remember. I need. A new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. That could be a problem. You feel like that's a problem? Say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. <sighs> So we're really just being terrorized by milk? I like milk. I say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink. Uh, 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 I'll never drink milk ever again.
I don't even like saying that out loud. Makes me want milk. Okay. Brushing our teeth. I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I wash my face, and I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. Well, use it. I look at my reflection. It shows absol absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. What was the water noise to my left ear? Well, and there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. The biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slip away. As if somebody fished them out of my head, one after another, one after another. Until nothing was left, and now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. Yeah, I, I, I get tired a lot. It's normal, right? Curvy pill bottle's not normal. After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking. I, I don't know if that's recommended. I, either way, I'm not, I'm not sure. Now I want to have a better look at it, to twirl it between my fingers, to chew on it. No, don't do that. I'd do anything to stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth, protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film. But I can't still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? I don't like that sentence. I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it turns out to be a soft, squishy... Soft and squishy? I press harder, and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy. Okay. Okay. The pill flies straight into the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next was a flat pill of the same blood red color. There were some letters printed out on it. Oh, I get it. I don't. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy, but it's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. I don't know if it's a good idea for us to be throwing away our pills here. I mean, we were just talking to a bag of milk. There's the milk outside of the bag. I, I don't know anymore. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find a reason not to swallow it. Oh, so we should be taking the pills. Take the pills. I invent my own medicine instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. Hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. I mean, that's good. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. Mine do. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about it to someone right away. It's a weird choice. But not to my mom. She'll just scold me. And she's sure I'm already sleeping anyway. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. Uh, don't go brag to the milk. That That's not a good idea. Besides, I really just want some small talk. I wonder, who's going to be my conversation partner? Hey. How you doing? I don't 
don't like your eyes. Hey, long time no see. Okay. It hasn't even been an hour, dummy. There you go, bullying me again. All right, now I already feel bad. I've made one choice and I'm already, I already feel bad. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit. Yep, I've, I've already said it in stone. I'm just gonna be rude the whole time. No. Well, then I'm not happy either. You need to go to bed. No, you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now, all right? I'll just stay silent until the medicine that effects wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. I need you to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. Hmm. I'm so energetic that I feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. Hee hee hee. I can't imagine how angry you are right now. Ah, curious, what made you happy all of a sudden? And why would I be sad? Remember yourself a couple of hours ago. I don't know what you mean. Lots of choices. Nah, I still don't understand. Whatever, unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic, snotty girl for a long time. She just whines and whines all the time. Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, all right? So you're the one calling the shots now? Yes. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah? I... Am I really that pathetic? I guess I'll be silent. Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling on my clothes and burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face, then we'll decide what to do with you. Didn't we already wash our face? A couple of tears got our face all dirty? I'm in front of the mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks the walls are giving me, trying not to drown in their giggling. But then me in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile. But then me in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile? Bears her teeth at me, what? Huh? I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind, two squared, two by two squared, a square squared, a square pyramid squared, a pyramidal structure cubed, a pyramidal structure hypercubed. I feel better. I don't. I don't know what just happened. But my head is splitting apart now. Do I turn it around? Do I... Do I act like I care now? Hmm. Wait, both of these aren't rude. I want to be rude. Ah, I ain't going to be sorry, though. You're mocking me, right? I'm obligated to ask you this at least a couple times per session. If you say so, where... Hmm. Then I'm going to go with I'm obligated to ask you this at least a couple times per session. Maybe I'm like, uh... Like, uh... Like a metaverse... Uh, therapist. Yeah. A session, huh? You don't like that word? I'm fine. No, you're not. I? I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something, after all. I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, but you talked to the milk. And you felt bad for milk. So I don't think you're better. Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. Oh, we're back here again. We went in a loop. Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? 
Undoubtedly. Moreover, it's dangerous. It seems dangerous. Dangerous. Mm, I know. And you keep pushing me. I... Am I uh, pushy? I, I don't know. I don't know. Then why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. Bad choice? It's true. The pain subsided for a bit at that time. But I know I feel... But... Uh, but now I feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. Just drink your medicine already or I'll stop talking. Ah, you can put a little faith, put a little faith, a little bit of faith. Ah, I think we'll put some faith there. You know what to do. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing away my unpleasant vision that keeps floating up in my memory. See? Yeah, faith. Yeah, yeah. And yet my mind still draws a terrifying picture, lumps of coagulated blood in transparent coating traveling down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. Huh. Having a little fun with medicine. We're really turning this around. It's a weird sweatshirt, by the way. It's interesting. I lie on the floor. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear the water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. Okay. I don't have a choice. I mean, I don't want to talk about it, but I don't have a choice. All right, fine. I'm just here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking. Perfect. Me too. Two can play that game. What do you want then? I, I just want to lie down for a bit. Cool. 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 I'll just float here above you. Uh, ah, let's see. Nope. I'm not engaging in this. I'm not engaging in this kind of conversation. No, I'm nah, I ain't doing it. You want to have an attitude? I can have an attitude. Why is our ceiling so high? I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed in my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my cork board. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. I don't want to imagine my thoughts that way at all. What kind of freaking advice is that? Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. I kind of mind both ways, to be honest. I don't want to think of my thoughts as bugs at all. I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts, they're fireflies now, start whirling all over the ceiling of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait. Yeah. It's just that moment doesn't come. Very cool. Our, our room is really, like, really tall ceiling. 
Really tall door. Thin door. Thin thin room. Tall, thin room. Okay. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling made me start losing my patience. I'm losing mine. Enough. I hate you. I hated that experience also. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Well, mom's going to know you're up now. Good job. Now start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you? Should it? I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm the VR therapist. Yes, yeah. And what do you want me to do then? I don't know. It's up to you. Oh, good, good. We're not talking again. Great, 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 great. You're at it again. No, you're freaking at it again, lady. What do you mean? Never mind. See? See? I tried to talk. You're being rude. And I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Well, you're not friggin' listening to me, tell you that much. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. <sighs> we should probably just take a nap. Forget about them and go to bed. No, you don't get it. If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thoughts, or else. I glance around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide here. They could be anywhere. Suddenly, I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. I told you to go to bed. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. All right, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. Will you tell me? I... Okay. Where am I now? I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They're so itchy. Lots of choices. Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Ooh. Did you drink milk? Did he bring milk? Well, he said not to drink the milk, so I don't think he would bring us milk. Did you drink milk? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes, one after another, will my eyes stop itching? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes, one after another. All my eyelashes, one after another. If I tear out all my eyelashes, one after another. What have you done? I need to gather the glass. And then I need to have a bath. And then... Mm, I don't like this option, but okay. Have some milk! I stand in the middle of my room, my mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. Will you tell me or not? You look happier now. About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I don't trust this one. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no. If I make even the smallest mess here, I'll feel really badly. 
All the things should stay in their place and that's it. Why? See, you don't even know. Yeah, 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 you don't know. Are you trying to come up with a reason right now? Who, me? N no, of course not. I think you forgot to put up your mind block. I can see through you. Rude? No, you're friggin' rude. All right then, so we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Yeah. My oh my. I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point and click adventure game character. You know, those games have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. And what about the things you use regularly? Right? How many L's did I just put in that word? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. I want to know what's the best part. You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and out crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. You've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue down that road? Come on, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision, too. Let's begin already. Go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey, what? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Ah, ah, there's smoke coming from your clothes. Eh, whatever. It's not very whatever light, but okay. Ah, uh, yes. Good, we found it. We're done here. I carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was in order, the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. I hate that. <laughs> it tickles. No. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Ah, now I have to look, look. Okay. Look at the amount of pills and it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. What's wrong? I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless. I could have died. Hmm. Ah, I don't like, ah, ah, don't like that option. Hey, calm down. You've already fixed that. Yes, because you ordered me to. Things could have been much worse. Yeah. I heave a deep sigh, come closer and extend my hand. Wow, it's warm. Uh, I'm in your head. Uh, 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 never mind. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturns. Pills ran down from it along with them. A firefly. Hooray. After circling above my head a couple of times, it finally lands in my palm. The firefly rushes up my arm, and upon reaching my shoulder, crawls straight into my ear. My mind becomes a bit clearer. Okay. What about this? Look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. A bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's a long, boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. No, don't, don't, no. Hmm. I insist. I really don't. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I spent my whole days in front of the screen, games, drawing, engineering, calculator, 3D modeling. 
so much fun stuff to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did. Before entering the web. Like the internet? Or like a spider web? Hmm, imagine this. You're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything f for comfortable living. Did you imagine? No, I can't imagine what it's like to be a hamster. As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagined. All right, so your hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living, okay? Okay. Wonderful. And here's the situation. You're a hamster that... Mm. Okay, I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. I'm going to go fine. Suddenly, a firefly slowly crawls out of the laptop's vent grill. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I can see that myself, if I only knew what. Looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? I changed my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. The firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. Then it starts glowing again, as if coming back to its senses. For some time, it thinks about the further course of actions, then flies up and dashes into my ear. I hate that. Let's continue searching. Mm. Ah, ooh. I mean, how, how many... F oh, I can really touch, like, all this stuff. But before we touch any more, that's going to wrap up this episode of Milk Outside a Bag of Milk Outside a Bag of Milk. If you'd like to see more of this game, go ahead and comment down below. But don't forget there's more videos here right and left, and you can subscribe here on my face. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.